Welcome to JavaSwing tutorial. So in this tutorial we can see how to create a frame by extending the JFrame class. So here first of all I will start with an example here. Go for import java.ewt.star. The next thing is import java.javax.swing.star. So I can save this file first. The name of this file is uh, frame demo is already existed. I can go for Java frame demo two frame demo two dot Java. And my class is the same thing frame demo two. And next, I need to go for the constructor here. Copy frame demo. As I said last, uh, I need to create this frame by extending the frame class here the frame class I must extend here so that is called the J frame class so for the extends J frame as you know already so extends is a keyword which is used for inheritance in Java technology means when I use extends the class followed by the extends is a super class for the class which are declared. So once it is a super class, means this frame demo is a kind of this J frame. It is nothing but a J frame. So here in this constructor, I am pausing. No, I, I don't pause anything. So here I can go for super keyword. So as you know, the super is a keyword which is used to refer to the super class constructor, super class methods, and super class members. So in this case, I'm representing the super class constructor and passing super colon super within the bracket. I'm passing some string message to my frame. So it will cause super class constructor. So you know already so frame uh, frame is a constructor. And as a constructor, the super should be this first statement. It shouldn't be second or any other statement. And the next thing. Once I have extended this J frame, means I don't need to create an object because this class itself it is a frame. I just go through the, this keyword, which is a reference to the invoking object. This dot set size. I'm going for before set size, set default, close operation. That is J frame dot exit underscore uh, underscore close for the next thing this start set size that is 280 comma 180 for the next thing this start set visible true that's it next I can go for public static In this case, I'm going for one more new concept swing utilities dot invoke letter of new level of public. Wide run. I'm running this application frame demo. I can explain why this statement is required. First thing, first thing we can clear this one. So, AWT is not necessary here, but it is necessary, necessary for our future applications. I can I explain why it is necessary? The string is, of course, it is necessary because I'm using the frame class here. And next thing super I am representing the super class constructor which is nothing but super class is JFrame in this case I am going for the constructor with string title. So this is a keyword which is used to refer to this class itself. So this dot set clause operation is nothing but set the clause operation for this frame means frame demo. And the next thing one more thing that this itself it is not required here even if you can directly call these methods then also it will work fine no problem. 
So in this case, I'm going for a string utility study with a pair of neural network public point. Here public point run frame demo. So this is the constructor. Uh, here I need to use new keyword. See in this case, I'm allocating memory here new and calling the constructor in frame demo. But the string utilities is a class which has the no clutter method, which is static one. A new runner is an interface I'm using here, and I'm using while the runner is an interface which has a run abstract method, which can run the application which is used for the threads. So, idea behind this code, this logic is nothing but to create an event dispatchable thread. So, each Java, AWT, and uh, JFrame classes are event driven components. Each JFrame components are event driven components. Whenever the component is created, it is shown, it is high, hidden, it is closed, or some components within that component has been clicked. So, in that time, whatever the event will be occurred, and those events should run on its own thread. So, for that purpose, so we are creating an event dispatchable thread in this case. So this is called creating the event dispatchable thread for the new frame demo. And this is the complete example which can create a JFrame by extending the JFrame class. Can I save this and compile this? Java C JFrame demo two dot Java showing. So it's not JFrame demo, it is frame demo. So one, one error is there, it is frame demo, it's constructed. Frame demo 2 and go for the compile. Of course, it is compiled successfully. Frame demo 2. So it executes. So this is how the frame is created by extending the JFrame class. So here my frame is running on the screen right now. So thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we can see more concepts and strings.